Today, we are talking about the DJI Avata, and specifically, I'm going to explain why I think you should not buy this aircraft if you're going to fly it in manual mode. I believe there is a fundamental problem with this aircraft that is causing it to crash. Over the last few weeks, there has been a number of users post whilst flying in manual mode that their Avata suddenly fell from the sky. Today, I went to my flying field and tried to test this for myself. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you what happened in that test. And then at the end, I'm going to explain my thoughts on this whole situation. Just before we do this though, I just want to say if you find this video interesting, please do make sure you are a subscriber. And also, if you want to support the channel to allow us to keep making independent content like this, sharing with you actual issues without any manufacturer intervention, please do check out the link to my Patreon in the description. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's see what happened first of all. Over the last couple of weeks, there's been a number of reports of people flying the Avata in manual mode and in sharp turns, the aircraft losing thrust, dropping a motor and falling out of the sky. It isn't something I have personally seen myself. However, I haven't pushed it as hard as I could in manual mode. So today we're going to see if I can specifically make that behavior happen and specifically in sharp turns in manual mode. So I've got a battery charged, only one today. So let's see if we can actually make it happen. So I'd taken off in manual mode and the plan was just to do turns left and right. I was going to do one way, then the other. Now, as I started doing them, you can clearly see with additional yaw that the aircraft does start to kick itself over and then recover. You can see here that the behavior isn't particularly great. It isn't actually falling from the sky, but you can see it sort of slam over and then recover itself as I'm doing the tight turns with yaw. This, whilst not ideal, isn't anything to be particularly concerned about at this stage. It's what happens next is what's worrying. And that is, I decided to change direction, do a turn, and the aircraft suddenly dipped over and crashed, continued to roll until it threw the battery. If we take a closer look at the turn I made again, you will see that it isn't particularly sharp. I simply move the aircraft around and then you can see it then tips over, heads to the ground, and then just keeps pushing itself until it throws the battery and it's no longer able to power itself. Now, I will be honest, I was frankly astonished at what I was seeing at this moment in time. I could not believe the aircraft simply fell out of the sky for a turn like I did. Right, just found it. Some lad shared it to me, not picked it up yet. Battery's gone. It must have rolled about eight to ten times. Now I've got to find the battery. Is the gimbal working? The gimbal's okay. Oh my god, DJI, what have you done? Right, let me now try and find the battery for this thing. Um, now for five minutes cannot find the battery this is a brand new pack first flight on it in fact because i had to update the firmware on it before um being able to take off i cannot believe what i've just seen now i don't want to go back home until i find this battery because it's a hundred and 30 quid or whatever it is in the UK but at the moment I just I can't see it at all this is what I mean I'm not even in deep grass it's not it's not bad the aircraft let me just go this way and see um we right so the lad who found the aircraft because a young lad found it for me he saw where it went down said it's by here and it was by here uh, one second so it's got to be around here this is where the aircraft was in this grass here so the battery has got to be around here but i've walked around for like five minutes what i don't know is the direction it came down. I might need to go back 
and look at my video to see the impact point and the, from there try to work out the direction of travel and where it might have thrown the pack. Right. Hey, found it. I must have walked past here about five times. Do you know the interesting thing is the battery's here. The crash was get my hand out of the way. Probably about landing about there on the grass over there. So that's how far away it continued to tumble after throwing the pack. Still on. Right, time for me to get home. Okay, so this is the state of my Avata after the crash. I haven't touched it. I just powered it up on the bench and there doesn't appear to be any damage. The gimbal is still working. You can see it's covered in mud. Luckily, this was on a field and that's why I was there specifically to test this. You can see mud round in the props there. If we spin it over, everything looks good. There's no damage to the main frame, just a lot of mud. Some marks on the props, but they'll be okay. VPS system looks all right. This whole frame assembly is still solid, no damage there. And again, the gimbal has survived, which is important. And the battery, this battery is brand spanking new. First flight on the pack, bit of mud. In fact, if I just show you there, that's how long I got into the flight before it gave up. So from an aircraft point of view, um, in this situation, luckily no harm done. So I've now cleaned the aircraft up. There is actually some damage on the frames around here where the props have caught it. Nothing phenomenal, just scratches around the ends. But other than that, it's absolutely fine as far as I can tell. Now, as for the cause on this, well, I'll be honest, I don't believe for one minute what you have seen is washout. I believe there is fundamentally something wrong with either the IMU or the flight code in this aircraft. That is not normal behavior, what we have seen there. The way it lost thrust and dropped is bizarre, but more than that, the way it continued to try and fly, or at least push itself as it was on the ground. Having looked back over the footage again very slowly, you can see at one point it's actually flying side on between hops. It is bizarre. There is something very, very wrong here and DJI need to get on top of this ASAP. So, as you've seen, it is absolutely the case that the Avata will fall from the sky in manual mode if you have a tight turn. And this raises some serious concerns for me. I went there to test what I had been told, and that was that the Avata could crash if you turn too tightly. And that is what has happened. On the one way I was testing, you could see it was clearly getting upset, but it didn't actually crash. But what's really worrying is the actual turn that it did crash on wasn't particularly tight. I simply brought it around and it just lost itself and fell from the sky. What's even then more concerning was what happened when it hit the ground. It didn't shut down. It kept trying to fly and rotate and it rolled itself until eventually the battery came off. I'm pretty sure I had the shutdown commands correct on the remote and I'm going to check that later, but that's not important right now because what's important is the aircraft is capable of falling out of the sky in what I would consider fairly reasonable turns. And as a result of that, I cannot recommend you buy this aircraft if you intend to fly it in manual mode. Now, it is worth me mentioning that this appears to be specific to manual mode, but there are some issues that I have seen in GPS mode as well. And that is, it is quite easy to upset this aircraft in GPS mode and have it shut its motors down. You can see this actually if you grab it in a hover by the battery and twist it, and rather than it fight you, it will actually shut down quite quickly. That means if you actually upset the aircraft in flight, if it catches something, it will just shut the motors down. And it certainly doesn't have the resilience that some of the other models have from DJI. Something has been shared with me that may imply that DJI actually know about this problem. In the manual under the section flight environment requirements, there is section nine, which says the following. When the aircraft turns at high speed or side brakes suddenly in strong wind environment, the attitude may become unstable. Please fly with caution. Now, there is in my mind a big difference between unstable and the aircraft simply falling from the sky, but this does hint that DJI may already know about this problem.
So overall, my opinion today is that the Avata is not fit for purpose in manual mode. Whilst you could just fly it around gently, it is capable of falling from the sky as you've seen in a fairly medium type turn. The turns that I was throwing it around harshly in or tightly in, you could clearly see it was upset. However, there is a big difference between upset and falling from the sky as it did. And I believe DJI have something fundamentally wrong here and at this moment in time I do not recommend you buy the Avata if you intend to fly it in manual mode period. Now if you have found this video interesting, please do consider supporting us via Patreon. It is only through the support of the Patreons am I able to keep making independent content like this. DJI did not send me this drone. I bought it with the support of the Patreons of this channel. And that's what allows me to give you independent content like this, telling you the truth about issues such as the one we have today. And if you feel we have earned your support, please do consider checking it out. Finally, please do let me know what you think about what you've seen here today in the comment section. If you have any questions, I will try and answer them, but I'm really interested in hearing your thoughts on this situation as well. Anyway, that's it for me. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.